All right, this is a tutorial on the doing circular code with CNC base and your CNC machine. The important thing here are these two things right here. We're adding these in a G02 if you're going in a clockwise curve or a G03 if you're going in a counterclockwise. And what you end up with is if I'm doing something like with this D, when I get to the line, I have something like this. I have an X and a Y. Those are the location of the endpoints, but then I have an I and a J, which are is the location of the center point of the curve. Let me show you what I mean. I created this, a C, like if I was doing a CUDA. If I start right here, then I am going, actually if I start down here, if I do, I'm doing a clockwise, so that's a G02. I would have this as my XY, and this point here would be my IJ. And so in CNC base, I've got this set up here. I've already got it set up to go to my starting point at the bottom. And then what I would do is I would have a G02, and I would have X of 0 0.5, y of 0 0.5, and then I would have an i of 0.75 and a j of 0.5. And let me just put in a faster speed, f25. I think if I do this, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to do it, and it makes a curve. This point right here is my 0.5.5. And right there would be the center point that it goes around. That would be at 0.75. That would be this point right here. And then if I just finish this thing off, now I'm doing straight line, G01. And that's going to an X of 0.5 and a Y of 1.5. And that'll draw a line going up. And then to finish it, I'm now going, still going clockwise. So G02 and X of 1.0, a Y of 1.5, an I of 0.75, and a J of 1.5. And if I did that right, click this, I get that. So again, this right here, this was my starting point of the curve, 0.5, 1.5. And then this 1, 1 1.5 is this point right here. And my IJ is this point right here, the center point of the curve. So if you're doing something, some letters, like if I completed this with CUDA. Now, a couple of advanced things if you want to do some of those nice things like you've seen from students in the past. Uh, you can, let's see, I did something like this. You could do this whole thing, but I did this on Inventor. I made a rectangle, dimensioned it to two inches by three inches, because that's the size of the block we're engraving, and then I just did this using uh, three-point arcs and straight lines. But, to get my information, I've got to hover over that point, and when I do, my location, my X and Y is down here. So if I leave it right there, if you look down in the bottom, it says 0 .840, 1.41, and then this would be my endpoint. This would be my cent. This would be if I started here. This would be my X Y. This would be my I J. And that going this way, counterclockwise, G03. Then I'd have a G01 to go here. And then I'm going a G03 to go here. I actually started that one right here. Now look at these numbers. A lot. It's more complicated. But if I run it, I'm getting the same basic thing. But it's... If I'm off by just a little bit, if I write my numbers down wrong, like if I got it as an 817, 
I think you'll see that what happens is this. It'll get to a point, oh, still did it. But if I go too far off, it'll tell me that I have a bad arc or not, okay? Funny how when I want it to go bad, it won't go bad on me. Let's try this. There, and it'll say warning bad arc. So if your numbers aren't exact, uh, you can get that. So um, now it will still, actually, if I make that a six again, it will still do it, but it'll make it look kind of, I can make it go, and it kind of does it. And I've had students where they've got a really complex thing, and they just can't get it to go, and just keep clicking and clicking. And the CMC machine will take care of that. If you want to get something even fancier, I was trying to do this. I, I went, I was getting a logo. The UNF logo, it's an Osprey. And I can trace around this. I know you've seen the UCF one that was done by a student last year. I can do three-point arcs, and I get a bunch of numbers. Look at So I've got this whole thing here, and in the end, I only did part of it because it takes a while. But you can see that's part, that right there is the, it's this part here. It's going from that point right there, tracing this, and then going to right there. And I would just complete it. Now, I did that in 15 or 20 minutes, so it took a long time for me because I'm doing this in the evening. But if you're doing it in class, in a couple of class periods, you would be able to do all of this. So if you want to do something nice, I've had people do like the Dolphins logos, a college they want to go to. You know, you can do something just to, I could have just done this. The UNF logo. I could have done some three-point arcs here and here and still got an outline of the F. So you can do that. I tried doing the uh, this one here, which was the USF. This one got a little tricky. I was trying to do this to get the uh, logo for USF, South Florida. And I think I still have it up here somewhere. Um, it was a little, it was a little tough. I played around with this and I got as far as you'll see what I got here. When I do this, I got a bad arc. If I keep going, you can see that that's what happens. Um, <clears throat> actually, it looks better if I do it with a smaller tool at least. But yeah, so it's, it, yeah, it takes a little work, but if you want to make something look nice, Um, something that you really want to do. I've had people spend a, a week or more doing this. So that's the whole thing here. G03 counterclockwise, G02 clockwise. The X and the Y are the locations of the end of the curve. Just to come back to our, the X and the Y are the end of the curve. Oops. And the I and the J are the center points. So, uh, I guess that was this. Yeah. If you want to have no problems, do something off this graph paper where you can easily see this is in 0.25. If you make everything stay on here, it's easy to see. If you want to do something fancy, bring it into Inventor and draw the lines and then plot the points. Uh, it's up to you. But this is how you do the curve. G03 counterclockwise. If I was going here, G02 clockwise. Starting here, X and the Y, I and the J. So that's how you do the circular coordinates.